when working with Revit, we'll always have to face some types of files to create, coordinate, and managing models throughout the beam and design process. So, for the first step, let us go through how to save a Revit file and their options so that we'll always come up with the best practice throughout our workflow. Okay, let's just click our sample project here. There are two ways to save a Revit file. First is by clicking the file tab here and the second will be clicking the save icon on the quick access toolbar. Okay, so for the file tab here, you can click, go to save as and click project. Then you'll come up with a save as pop-up dialog. There you can see the option buttons and click it. In the file save options dialog, you'll have three options category that are maximum backups, work sharing, and preview. Maximum backups option meaning that every time you click the save icon, Revit duplicates the file with added suffix number on the file name such as 001, 002 and so on until the maximum number you specified has been reached. If you specify let's say three maximum backups here for this example, so Revit will update to the latest suffix number with other two duplicate files that precede it. So here's some example here. These duplicate files act like a safe history so that you can check on the previous file or model condition after you already save it to check on revisions. The best practice is to save your Revit project or family files in a specific folder so you can easily trace and organize it and never leave it openly on your desktop. The second option will be work sharing. The work sharing options are only available to work set enable file. The make this a central model after save sets the current work set enable file to be the central model at the point of the first time save. Next, the compact file option. This option reduces file size when saving work set enable files. For a normal file save, Revit will only adding or writes new and changed elements to the current existing files. This is what contributes to the large file size, but the good is it takes a shorter period of save operation. Well, if you tick the compact file option, you can see that Revit will automatically remove obsolete files or components that you are not using to reduce its file size. So this is similar to the push unused or flush command in the manage tab in Revit. For the saving process speed, if you taking the compact file option, it will take a longer time to save. So be careful on this and only take it if you want to share the files to the clients or other project members and also presentation and never doing this during your normal workflow. Okay, next will be the open work set defaults. This option is to specify the default open type when opening the central model locally. So for the work set saving file, we will discuss in other videos and topics. So we go on to we move on to the thumbnail preview. This option let you specify the view what you want to see on the file thumbnail, so you can always have an insight into the file content before you open it in Revit. So you can choose the source here. So as before this, it will automatically to the 3D view. You can also choose the active view of it. That means you will see the latest view that you 
work on if you want to open the file so for example I, so for the example I will click on the rendering 3d view one here as my thumbnail next you will see the below of the source is the regenerate if view is not up to date so this option is about updating your thumbnail preview according to the latest or current setting of your thumbnail preview source so you can choose if you want to regenerate or just to say to stay at, as it is so you can click ok here and then save ok to show you the demo of how the Revit file suffix number work on as you can see it we got 6, 7 and 8 so this is my last 3 number of files history so if I click save once more so it will automatically update to the latest one and the two files that precede it as I said is to three maximum backups so this is how the Revit saving options work okay next we will see the thumbnail preview that we have set it so we can click the large icon here and you can see that icon we already have changed it to the rendering view or if you can see you can see this file we already changed it the thumbnail preview so there you go a brief explanation on how to save your Revit model now you can rest assured by knowing the what and how of saving your files throughout your workflow